Hi guys, it's Ruben the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 290 on the SLA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assume you already tried it once, let's just dive right in. The number of tornadoes in a given year follows the Poisson distribution with mean 3. Okay. Calculate the variance of the number of tornadoes in a year given that at least one tornado occurs. So that is the probability of x, which where x is the number of tornadoes given that there is at least one tornado. Okay, well this is equal to the probability of x and x is greater than 1 over the probability that x is greater than 1. Or I'm going to think of it as the complement 1 minus p x is um, equal to 0, right? And for this one, it will still be the same. So this is what we're looking for. Okay. Well, to find 1 minus p, this, that one's pretty simple. Because we know that the um, Poisson distribution with the mean 3 is going to, the distribution is going to look like this. Um, p to the x equals k. And this is equal to e to the negative k, k or e to the negative lambda, lambda k, for k factorial. Then this is equal to, if k is equal to 0, then that's just equal to e to the negative 3. Yeah, 3 to 0 over th um, 0 factorial, it's just that. So then, the, um, 1 minus probability of x equals 0, and that's just equal to 1 minus e to the negative 3. Right? And Again, we're going to use our um, beloved formula, variance of x equals e of x squared, the second moment, minus the first moment, the whole thing squared. And our expectation is always equal to, for discrete cases, for all x, summing up x times the probability of x integrating, oh yeah, summing up the probability of x times the value of x. Okay, so then... For our Poisson distribution, since Poisson is a discrete function, we're going to use that summation instead. And to fulfill this part, we're going to start it from 0, x, I mean, start it from 1, because we're looking for any values bigger than 1, x times our p of x, which is just e to the negative 3, 3 to the um, x over x factorial, summing it up from 1 to infinity. Okay, well, this is also, it's, since if it starts from 1 or 0, it, if it starts from 0, it just adds 1. So we can actually start it from 0, no problem. x e to the negative 3, 3x over x factorial. Oh, we, and we also can't forget our denominator, which is 1 minus e to the negative 3. Yeah. Right? Okay, well, this could be further simplified. I'm going to take that 1 minus e to the negative 3 outside. And this is equal to x e to the negative 3, 3x over x factorial. Okay, so a big shout out to Markini Eisman, the YouTube channel, because he helped me figure out that this value right here, the red that I just circled right here, is just a... Poisson distribution, the mean of a Poisson distribution with the um, mu um, lambda being equal to 3. This whole red part is just equal to 3 because what is the expected value of a Poisson distribution? Well, that's just equal to the mean. And the mean right here, or the lambda. And then what is the expected value of a dis uh, Poisson distribution? Well, that's just the lambda. And then lambda in our case is 3. So this whole red part is actually just equal to 3. So then it equals 3 over 1 minus e to the negative 3. Okay, so let me just type that into the calculator. So that's equal to e of x, right? And to find e of x squared, the second moment, we just do the same thing. We are summing up everything from 1 to infinity, x squared instead of the x, e to the negative 3, 3x over x factorial. Okay, well, we can still do the same thing. We can shift it over. Right? Because it, it just adds an arbitrary zero, so it doesn't really change the formula. x squared e to the negative 3, 3x over x factorial. Well, this 
right here, this part right here, is our second moment with the lambda being equal to 3. So then if you remember what, um, what we know about second moments for a Poisson distribution, well, we know that, is this Poisson? Yeah, Poisson distribution. Well, e of x squared then, the second moment is just equal to lambda squared plus lambda. So knowing that, we can just use it to help us out here. This would just be equal to lambda squared plus lambda. But then this, in this equation, lambda is just 3. So this is 3 squared plus 3 times, obviously we can't forget this constant right here, right? So this is equal to 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is equal to 12 over 1 minus e to negative 3. Right, right? Okay. So then now to find the variance, again, it's equal to our second moment minus the first moment squared. This whole thing squared. Right? Okay, so I'm just going to type it into my calculator like that. So when I plug into the calculator, I get this is equal to 2.6609 which is approximately equal to our 2.66, which is your answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!